Distributed Transaction Coordinator for Azure SQL Managed Instance enables you to run distributed transactions in heterogeneous environments across multiple managed instances, SQL servers hosted anywhere, and other participants. You can use DTC and Azure SQL Managed Instance to migrate and modernize your existing applications or develop new ones. Quick note here, if you need to run T-SQL or .NET distributed transactions across multiple managed instances only, just configure Server Trust Group and use native support. If you need more than that, then you need DTC for managed instance. To run distributed transactions across managed instance and other transaction participants, you need to ensure that there is network connectivity between all participants, you need to configure DNS and DTC settings. In this demo, I will not show details of this configuration, but you should know that part of this can be done on Azure portal, on your managed instance, and the other set of settings you will need to configure on host machines on your on-prem environment. Let's take a look at the DTC demo. In this distributed system, I have SQL Server hosted on-prem and I have Azure SQL Managed Instance in the cloud. SQL Server hosts Wide World Importers database and that database has data on central stock where I have the quantity of all items that I have in the stock. Azure SQL Managed Instance is in charge of processing purchase orders and stock item transactions. Currently, for item 204, I have no stock item transactions and quantity of hand is 24. Let's take a look at the business logic. So, I'm processing purchase order on Azure SQL Managed Instance here. I'm starting distributed transaction. Then, using linked server, I'm updating central stock by reducing required quantity. On the local table on Azure SQL Managed Instance, I'm inserting stock item transaction details. And then I check the central stock. If the remaining quantity is negative, that means the transaction is not possible. So I roll back. Otherwise, I commit. Let's try to execute this for quantity 100. This is not possible because we have 24 items on stock. So transaction rolled back. And if I check what's, what has happened, I see no stock item transactions and quantity on hand is still 24. Let's reduce this. Let's try to run the transaction for quantity 1. When I do this, transaction will commit changes. Let's check the status. So I have one stock item transaction for quantity 1 and quantity on hand is reduced. It is now 23. I can implement the same business logic in Java with XA transactions. So here is a pseudo code for that. In the beginning, I'm setting up connections and XA resources. Then I'm reducing quantity on central SQL server. After that, I'm creating record on managed instance. Then I'm checking the central location quantity. And if it's less than zero, I roll back the transaction. Otherwise, I commit the transaction. So let's run this business logic. I'm running my Java code for ID 204. I'm running transaction for the quantity of 10. Let's execute this. Transaction succeeded. So let's check the status here. I have another item for the quantity 10 and quantity on hand is reduced from 23 to 13. To learn more about distributed transaction coordinator for Azure SQL Managed Instance, Follow the link on the screen. Thank you.